Now I'm not done with you know fixing it. Oh, but the colors are beautiful in it. It does look nice. Then yeah, let's check out Karen's colors up. here. Oh wow! Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, Thank that's you. Gorgeous. So, you know, it tells you a lot about what a monochromatic palette can do for a piece. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need tons of color because you can get tons yeah. of color out of <laughs> one color. Mm -hmm. So we're going to attach her crown today, which is the central part of this piece. And this all has to be coated with solder first. So the copper is going to grab hold of the solder. The tin coating will accept the patinas because this is going to be a black, black line patina when all is said and done. So don't grab a lot of solder. The mistake is people start piling solder on. So I'm going to start with just this one little drop. You can see it all. It's an eighth of an inch of solder there. I've already fluxed the uh, base itself. Now this is a big chunk of metal you're heating up. And remember, whenever you're applying solder to anything, it has to get to the temperature that you're um, working at. So we've got to bring this up to 700 degrees. Remember, we're using a mix of solder that's a 50-50 a or 60-40. It's tin and lead. So the tin part of that is what um, reacts with the patinas. So you get those black or copper lines when it's all said and done. I'm going to put a little more flux on this now that we've got some heat going in there. One little drop should should cover this whole branch down, this eighth inch. So you don't want to lift up at all because you're just not going to get enough heat into the line there. Okay. Yeah, this bigger one's really going to do it for you. Yeah. See how we're going now? Yeah. I was getting worried there for you, Karen. <laughs> I was starting to get worried there for you. <laughs> like, boy, yeah, I was you got too. This is going to take so, hours. See this? Now we're there starting we to scrub it on. So you kind of stay in the sweet spot of the heat. The oil right into there. Just a couple of drops. Okay. And you'll see your white wick will mm -hmm. grab hold of it. And again, this one's got a lock in the swivel position. It's got the little oh, pin there. Okay. So I like to be in lock when I cut. So as you score, you just line up your first line there. As close to the pattern as you can get. Right into the next piece. Okay. And then pick up that last piece. So this one you can use the running pliers, you've got them set right with the screw there about the thickness of the glass you're working with. You're going to go right on top of the little line, hands back behind the bump and give it a little squeeze. So we are going to tin just that back top one. I was afraid of tinning too much because I don't want to screw it up like I do so often. Yeah, and if you, if you get too much solder on this back line, it does become an issue for the hinge fitting. Right, that makes sense. So, yeah, you want to keep it nice and thin, light and tight. Just get the color silver over there. So we're just going to bend the U of that 16 gauge wire. It should go down your sides about two, two and a half inches. It's not a definite thing there. You eyeball it. I'm going to drop off some of this solder. Okay. Just Good. to get a little bit of a closer attachment there. Mm -hmm. We'll just use gravity to do that for us. I can come back and neaten that up a little bit. What you do first is just get your leg tacked in so okay. that if you do need to adjust anything, you can, yeah. So we'll just put a little solder in that line just to anchor him down. So now you come back and hide that entire leg. But not get too close. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Don't let that creep up and, uh, okay. and attach because... That's the worst. You do. You'll have to take off everything you again. Have a permanent and, box. With nothing in it. <laughs> we'll call it a puzzle box. Yeah. Figure out how to open it. <laughs> the next thing we'll do is we'll attach our little jewelry chain that'll go from the corner because yeah. you have to have a stop. Otherwise, right. this will rip off over time. And if you want, I've got a little um, 
little like a brass ball foot, yeah, that we could use as a. I don't know. Okay. Let's see where that is. Mm -hmm. 